What's the most common pitfall that leads to a shitty game? It's sort of too many cooks. It's more that modern AAA game design requires too many moving parts. So I'm just gonna give you a picture of what the process could be like, all right? You wanna make a game. You have like one creative director that wants to make a game. And then that creative director has other directors and other project managers, and they all design parts of the game. And they sometimes have sub-designers that make parts of the part. And none of them are actually making and coding and implementing those parts. Those go to teams of coders and animators. And by the end of the day, it's not like one person is making a video game. It's like one person is responsible for the physics and animation of one character and three chairs. And so you have these teams of hundreds of people working on a game. I mean, just stay through the credits of a game once and see how many people actually worked on it. And they're all working at different departments, and they're all working simultaneously. And even though they try to stay in sync, they all have their own schedules and their own employee turnover. Sometimes they're working on multiple projects at once, and that's something that's totally outside their control. And the goal is eventually all these people get all their work together, and they stitch it all together, and it all works. But most of the time, it doesn't, because there's just so many things that can go wrong. Now, problems in game design kind of exponentially stack on each other. One or two problems may be an easy fix, but enough problems, and we're talking about months or years of work. And those months or years of work aren't really conducive to finding a good fix. Because, like I said, there's employee turnover. People who, like, made the things that were broken may have even moved on to other projects at that point. Meaning you have to reverse engineer their work, which is sloppy, or you have to start from scratch. Sometimes decisions come from outside the developer's hands that they need to implement, and that breaks the entire game too. And again, those decisions are made by several different people on different time schedules, so it's not like one person can just make a quick fix. And whenever a game has problems, a developer and a publisher has to come to a decision. Do we spend more money and time fixing this, or do we ship it and recoup our losses? And sometimes errors are so big that nothing short of starting the project over will fix it. And starting the project over means literally all that time and money is down the drain, and now you need budget for a whole other game. And not just a money budget, a time budget, and a personnel budget. I have a friend who used to work at Disney Game, and Disney Infinity, back in the day, originally had jump on the triangle button. And I tested it, and I gave my feedback, and he told me that that error is so hard-grained into the code that fixing it breaks the entire game. So it just had to ship that way, and it got fixed in, like, Disney Infinity 3.0. So yeah, it's the scope. The scope of AAA game design sometimes makes games fail catastrophically.